Every trucker hopes for a reliable rig, but not all vehicles deliver on that promise. From the Freightliner Cascadia, notorious for its electrical system failures, to the Scania R-Series, which suffers from turbocharger problems, the road to a dependable truck is fraught with pitfalls. What makes these trucks so problematic? How did they end up on the worst of the worst list? Let's dive into our list of the 10 worst trucks you should never buy and see which models you should avoid at all costs. The Freightliner Cascadia, made by Daimler Trucks North America, has been a key player in the trucking industry since its debut in 2007. The 2010 model brought major improvements, including better aerodynamics and fuel efficiency, making it popular among drivers. It was powered by a strong Detroit DD-15 engine, capable of producing up to 600 horsepower and 2,150 pound-feet of torque. The Cascadia was praised for its comfortable, spacious cab, ergonomic design, and advanced safety features like lane departure warnings and collision mitigation systems. However, models from 2010 onward had frequent electrical issues, with drivers reporting problems in the dashboard and sensors, leading to expensive repairs and downtime. Despite these challenges, the Cascadia remained in demand due to its fuel efficiency and overall performance. While the electrical issues hurt its reputation, ongoing updates have helped it maintain its market presence. The Volvo VNL, introduced by Volvo Trucks North America in 1996, became a key player in the trucking industry. The 2013 model brought significant updates, including the advanced D13 engine, which provided up to 500 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. This model was praised for its fuel efficiency and driver comfort, offering a spacious cab and ergonomic design. However, despite these advancements, the VNL series from 2013 onwards encountered major issues. Drivers frequently experience transmission problems and a tendency for the D13 engine to unexpectedly go into limp mode, causing frustration and unreliability in long-haul operations. These issues led to costly repairs and downtime. Despite these challenges, the VNL remained popular due to its safety features and overall performance. The Kenworth T680, introduced in 2013 by Kenworth, a subsidiary of Packard, was designed to be a fuel-efficient and aerodynamic truck, replacing older models like the T660 and T700, with a cab that was 10 inches wider and a 10% improvement in fuel efficiency, the T680 quickly gained popularity for its advanced aerodynamics and spacious interior. Powered by Packer's MX-13 engine, it offered up to 510 horsepower and 1,150 pound-feet of torque. However, the truck's diesel exhaust fluid system, vital for reducing emissions, became a significant issue. Frequent malfunctions led to costly repairs and extended downtime, tarnishing the truck's reputation among long-haul drivers who depend on reliability. Despite its continued production, these DF system problems have made the Kenworth T680 one of the more troublesome trucks in the long-haul industry. The International ProStar, launched in 2007 by Navistar International, aimed to be a fuel-efficient and aerodynamic Class 8 truck. It replaced the older 9400i model and quickly gained popularity due to its modern design and advanced features. The ProStar was equipped with Max Force 11 and 13 engines, initially praised for their power and efficiency. These engines delivered up to 475 horsepower and 1,700 pound-feet of torque, making the ProStar a strong contender in the long-haul truck market. The truck's success was short-lived due to persistent issues with the Max Force engines. Drivers often encountered problems with the exhaust gas recirculation system, leading to frequent breakdowns and high maintenance costs. These reliability issues caused significant downtime and frustration, ultimately damaging the ProStar's reputation and leading to a decline in its popularity. 
the Peterbilt 579, launched in 2012, was designed as a fuel-efficient and aerodynamic Class 8 truck. Produced by Peterbilt Motors Company, a Packard subsidiary, the 579 quickly gained popularity due to its sleek design and advanced features. It was equipped with the Packer MX-13 engine, offering up to 510 horsepower and 1,150 pound-feet of torque. The truck's design included improved aerodynamics, a spacious cab, and advanced safety features, making it a favorite among long-haul drivers. However, the Peterbilt 579 faced significant issues with its Packer MX-13 engine. Drivers reported problems like excessive oil consumption and frequent turbocharger failures. These issues resulted in high maintenance costs and significant downtime, making the truck less reliable for long-haul operations. The Mac Anthem, introduced by Mac Trucks in 2017, was designed to transform long-haul trucking with its bold design and advanced features. It came with Mac MP7 and MP8 engines, delivering up to 505 horsepower and 1,760 pound-feet of torque. Its aerodynamic design aimed to boost fuel efficiency, while the spacious cab was meant to ensure driver comfort on long trips. The truck also featured the MD Rive automated manual transmission, offering smoother shifting and better control. Drivers reported disappointing fuel efficiency, undermining one of the truck's main selling points. The ride was often uncomfortable, making long journeys more challenging. Additionally, the MD Arrive transmission, despite its innovation, frequently malfunctioned, causing significant downtime and repair expenses. These problems frustrated drivers and raised doubts about the truck's reliability. The Renault T-High, launched in 2013 by Renault Trucks, was designed to be a modern and fuel-efficient long-haul truck. It came with DTI-11 and DTI-13 engines, offering up to 520 horsepower. The truck's aerodynamic design aimed to cut fuel consumption, while its spacious cab was intended to provide comfort for long-distance drivers. Initially, the T-High received praise for its innovative features and won the International Truck of the Year in 2015. Its engines were often criticized for being relatively weak compared to competitors, leading to performance issues on tough routes. Additionally, drivers frequently reported electrical problems, causing significant downtime and frustration. The cabin's lack of comfort further diminished its appeal making long journeys less bearable. These persistent issues have made the Renault T-High less desirable for long-haul operations. The DAF XF, made by the Dutch company DAF Trucks, has been a major player in the European long-haul truck market since 2012. It is known for its powerful multi-torque Packer engines and the latest Traxxon gearboxes, designed for high transport efficiency and driver comfort. The truck features a spacious and luxurious interior with advanced safety features, making it popular among drivers and fleet operators. Its high fuel efficiency and large payload capacity were also strong selling points. Despite these advantages, DAF XF models from 2012 onward have faced criticism for unreliable engine performance and frequent gearbox issues. These mechanical problems have caused frustration for drivers and fleet operators, leading to unexpected breakdowns and costly repairs. The Scania R series, made by the Swedish company Scania, has been a popular choice for long-haul trucking since 2010. It's known for its strong build and powerful engines. The R series gained a good reputation for its comfort and advanced features with 13-liter and 16-liter engines that produce up to 770 horsepower. These engines were praised for being fuel-efficient and performing well. The truck also features a roomy cabin with easy-to-use controls, making it a favorite for long trips. However, the R-Series has had some serious reliability problems, especially in models made from 2010 onward. Drivers have often reported issues with the Selective Catalytic Reduction System, which is important for cutting emissions. Turbocharger failures have also been common, leading to expensive repairs and downtime. 
the Mercedes-Benz Actros, launched in 1996, is a well-known name in the trucking world. The fourth generation, introduced in 2011, brought major upgrades with advanced electronics and new features. Made by Mercedes-Benz, this truck was built for long-distance travel and heavy-duty jobs. It became popular due to its cutting-edge technology, such as the predictive powertrain control system, which uses GPS data to improve fuel efficiency by predicting road conditions. With engines ranging from 421 to 625 horsepower, the Actros delivered strong performance. Its advanced electronics sometimes caused problems, and the many sensors and systems needed frequent maintenance, leading to significant downtime. The truck's own technology, while impressive, sometimes hurt its overall reliability. While these 10 trucks have their flaws, being informed helps you avoid costly mistakes. Have you had any experiences with these models? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights and updates.